119 machine. You can see Tim earning the badger. Who needs more power on the Mini Twin? I do. We felt he let himself down. He let me down. He just let a lot of people down. We were disappointed. It was a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I'm surprised he's been allowed back, to be honest. I'm back after qualifying one. Absolutely terrible. Shocking performance. After doing last time here, I did one minute dead something. And I did, uh, I'm nearly almost dead last. 104.8 and um, my mate Andrew Varley is gloating because he's, he's done a second quicker than me and he's two ahead of me on the grid so I really need to pull my finger out and uh, because I've only entered one class I'm not going to get any other practice so uh, yeah absolutely gutted but let's see how it goes in the race hopefully I won't be last make a shed out make a shed diary update after race one mini twins and uh, my pace has improved slightly, but not greatly, uh, but I'm absolutely living. My good friend who at the beginning of the year decided to do his ACU license because he could do a 108 on track days and he thought I might not be last. Anyway, he's been here loads of times, done loads of track days. He was here on one on Friday, he got an instructor all day. He's now down into the 102s and he beat me. I'm like, that's just not, not on, it's not fair. He's not allowed to beat me. Um, but anyway, it was good fun. Um, I had to start from the back of the row because I missed the, the start, start of the race. So I missed the warm up lap. Start from the back of the row, but got a really good start. Took about four bikes. Anyway, I've got it on camera. Um, eventually, I looked over my shoulder, expecting to be no one there. There he was. And uh, he dumped me into Ed Wieners, and I'm crapping Ed Wieners. So um, I have to see if I can beat him next race. Make a shit out. Race 2 report, more of the same really. I managed to get past Andy Varley who was in front of me, my good friend, and uh, I managed to keep him behind me the whole race. I was only doing 103s, looks like it. But um, yeah, he, he passed me literally on the finish line, and I think he beat me by seven hundredths of a second, gutted. But at least, you know, I've got somebody to race with, but um, yeah, I need to have way more track time on a big bike to uh, get any better. So I don't know where the next one's going to be, it might be Darley Moor where I've never been before. Make a shout out.